Today, we are going to write the formula for sodium peroxide. So let's work from left to right, and then we'll get the formula, right? So the first thing I see is sodium. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where sodium is, and I find it. Sodium is right here, right? Sodium is represented by an Na, and let me just write that, Na, right? And all elements of group 1 are all metals except for hydrogen, but they all share a common charge of being a plus 1. So that's the first thing I'm going to write down here. I got Na, and it's a plus 1 charge. Next is peroxide. Now I do see that's an IDE ending, so maybe it's a nonmetal on the periodic table, but if you look for something that starts with perox, right, maybe like peroxium on the periodic table, you won't find it. So if you don't find it, that means that peroxide is a polyatomic ion. So I wrote it down here. You need to memorize these polyatomic ions, okay guys? So just write it out, use flashcards, do whatever you got to do to just know that peroxide is O2 with a negative 2 charge. Now we are ready to write the formula. We're going to take our charges, right, and crisscross them down. It's like a little trick to see how many of each component I need. So this plus 1 crisscrosses down, telling me that I only need one peroxide, the O2, and then this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I just need two Sodiums. When you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the charges up top, and you don't have to bring down the positives or the negatives. You're just using these as like counting numbers. So now we're ready. I have sodium, Na. I need two of them, so I write the two. Now I have one peroxide, so when you have one of a polyatomic ion, you don't need parentheses. So I'm just going to write my polyatomic ion, the peroxide, which is O2. And I just need one, so I don't have to write the one. And this is it. So even though it doesn't look simplified because I see that I have a two and a two, this is the polyatomic ion. So this one can be a little tricky, guys, but we got it. Sodium peroxide is Na2O2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Subscribe to the channel to help us out. Thank you so much for that, and I hope you guys are doing well. Keep studying hard. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you all in next lessons. All right, bye-bye.